Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today we are going to talk about how to creating the folding form and all those forms are coming into the same curve. So I'm going to guide you step by step in this tutorial. Are you ready? Let's get started. So our goal today is trying to get this form uh, at the end and then we're going to starting with this curve right here. So that's starting from the scratch. So for the folding surface, the simplest way is to creating a curve look something like this, more like an S shape there. And with this one, if we simply just extrude uh, the surface, then we'll get the surface like this. But this shape is really boring and it's really stiff right there. So in order to get this shape, Shape, it's more interesting. Uh, we wanted to have a different thickness. You can extrude it again to be the taper or you can use the gumball and hold the control and shift key at the same time and click on this edge right here. So the gumball will select it only the edge and then you can kind of make them taper so then you will get the shape right here. Now with this shape if you try to turn on the control point it's really not much a point that you can have. You can have this one but in in the middle is still straight right so what we wanted to do is we can rebuild this surface and you can rebuild into la more point right currently we have a degree three for that curve on the bottom but the edge right here is degree one so we want to make sure they both in the degree three and we don't need that many points uh, let's say if i want to have eight and the eight right so then, then we have those points right here and i'm going to click ok all right, so now there are the degree three surface. What we can do, I'm simply just going to ma manipulate it with the gumball and make them, you know, a little bit thinner and go something like that. You can do all kind of editing if you want to, right? You can pick up the certain point and then those points you can pull it up and pull it down to get all the different like folding looking shape. All right, so that's one thing's there. I'm going to have this one moving on the side just for the comparison. Now the other things that we can do on the bottom of this shape is like quite straight, on the top is quite straight, right? So I do want them to like folding down kind of a form. So I'm gonna coming into my right view. In fact, I'm going to delete this one. So I'm going to come into my right view and I wanna create a shape is go from here with the control point curve and I'm going to coming into the right view. I'm going to draw a curve coming down here, 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 and it's just indicated like the fall of the, this shape on the bottom should be, right? And then uh, I might want to use the, I might need to creating the curve in between. So the command that we're going to use is curve from two view, and then you got this curve and you got this curve, right? It will automatically creating this curve right here. Right? And then you see if this is the fall that you want. I'm simply just going to hiding those two and then maybe I make it too tilty, but that's okay. I can I can change later. So I'm simply just going to hide this one, right? And if this fall is like way too much, you can also like a 1D scale and bring back. I think that might be better. All right, that's because this curve is coming out from two different curves, we'll try, right now try to match all the points. That's why you can see a lot of a control point there. If we try to edit those points, you're gonna get a kink there. It doesn't look good, right? So what we wanted to do is we wanna rebuild this curve to make a simple, more simple point. Uh, currently you can see we have 69 point that's a super a lot and then we want to make it to 12 and then you're gonna see some deviation but this is gonna be nature folding uh, so shape so you will be fine so let's click OK there all right uh, you can continue to continue to edit if you want to so I'm going to stay here all right so the things is how we are going to creating the surface this one if you just like extrude it that's not gonna look nice I we want to taper to the Top. So I'm going to have this exactly one and moving uh, a copy. So that's going to move on the top with the gumbo and I'm going to hit the OK key and then you get something like this, right? You'll get a copy like this. And this one, I just want to scale it down and for something like this. So you got the shape on the bottom, you got the shape on the top. We need some things in the middle. So let's go ahead to pick up this shape. Uh, at this end and this end, and then we're creating a straight line there. 
if we are using the command for sweep to rail and we're going to click on rail one rail two cross section and then we'll get something like this right so that's a, actually a, a nice form of the folding for the jewelry purpose a lot of time it may not look completely natural you might you might want to have some curve there and again if you turn on this one and uh, you want to turn on the control point it's not much a point for you to edit if you can create it to get more point if you want to but this line is pretty straight there right and this is actually too many points in each line there all right, so what I wanted to do is to uh, coming into this surface and we want to rebuild this one. All right, so you can rebuild the surface. Right now I have, you have 100, V has five, right? So maybe I want to uh, decrease to something more manageable, right? So I got 12 and eight and make sure it's a three and three and click okay right there. So now you can go ahead to, you know, pick up all those points and continue to edit this certain point. You want it to go like puffier going one side or you're going to pull the edges so they don't feel like it's like straight edges there. So you can continue to manipulate it. But what I wanted to show you the end result with this the wire structure. The wire structure is actually coming out from your contour line right there. If you wanted to have more wire to going at the end, you need to have a lot more contour line. All right, so what I wanted to do is I'm also going to rebuild one more time on this surface. With this surface right now, I have 12 point going to on um, this curve right here, the S shape, and I do want it to have more wire going on. So we want to rebuild more point, and then you can preview right here. So let's say I want to have 24 point, and you can see it's getting smaller distance and I want it to more look like a grid so I may want to increase in this a lot too so that's a 20 and then you can see the grid is more square and this is what I'm looking for and let's click OK all right so now I have this grid structure here how do we get the curve out of it is we're gonna coming into the curve you have curve from the object and then you have this one is extract a wireframe. So when you extract a wireframe, I'm just going to see all the ISO curve that you have now is turning into the curve, right? So I'm going to simply just hiding, use command hide to hiding this surface. And then you can see all the line there. I'm going to hide the original red one curve, just hiding this one because we rebuild the surface so the age won't be the same. So I'm going to also going to hiding this one. All right, for all of this, I'm going to pick up everybody and we can use the command uh, under the solid you have things called pipe and I want to pipe it radius maybe for 0 0.8 and let's hit enter and then you will get the shape like this so this will be the wire structure into the folding shape if you are using the Rhino 7 you can also pick up all the curve and using the Rhino 7 sub D for multi pipe. And then with the multi pipes, I say the radius is going to be five. The end cap is going to be on and we want to set the smoothness to the zero. Hit enter. Then you will get the shape like this for comparison. In the render view, you can see this is more like a harsh edges right there, but this is like all of them is connected together nicely into one piece. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and comment and let me know how you like it. And check out my membership program. I have a lot more trick and tips on this type of the 3D modeling. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.